the issue was originally that we didn't have enough guidance to be with our parents. So why are we just pushed out at 18 by ourselves? They're like, oh, you're fine. You can do it on your own. A lot of people think that the story begins in foster care, but I like to think that my story started before I went into foster care. I lived with my father, my mother, and my twin brother. Growing up, I actually was homeless my entire life. So around five years old, my father got in a car crash and he became addicted to opiates. And so that led to like nothing being more important than a pain pill. Like we would go to like emergency rooms like three or four times a day. We would be in a hotel for three, four, five months. We started living in whatever car we could. If we didn't have a car, we would sleep like on the bus transit in like a 24 hour Walmart or a movie theater. During the whole time, it was just like, we pretended like it was normal. I was 12, 13 years old. This final like hoorah that we had where we traveled across the country in this like 1999 van that we had. And I had the back seat. And so basically I watched life from the back seat. We were going to multiple emergency rooms a day in order for them to get a pain prescription. I never went to the doctor for my parents because I developed an extreme anxiety disorder where I didn't even want to get out of the car. I didn't want to go to the hospital and fake that things are wrong with me because then I feel like I would think something was actually wrong with me. I just remember night after night looking out the back window and just thinking this can't be it this can't be what was planned for me because inside me there's such a fire that wants to do so much more and there just has to be a way out of this i think we crossed the country three times what actually brought us back to florida was our van broke and that's when someone had disclosed our hotel location at 14 is when they finally pulled us from my parents and it was like my first day of high school. I started high school a quarter late and they came and they pulled me out and they're like, okay, we have to go to court within 24 hours. This is how it's going to go. And it was just a whirlwind from there. When I first went into foster care, I was struggling very bad with anxiety. I still deal with anxiety to this day. The only thing that was really done to help mental health was I had a counselor when I was 16 and she came and we did like mindfulness exercises and we kind of talked our trauma out but I, I think what's important about that is that not every kid can just talk their stuff out. Everybody has a different way of expressing themselves and I don't think a weekly visit with like some random person coming to your house making bracelets is going to help you unload that trauma and be able to deal with it. That was just another one of their like checklist things like okay you've seen a therapist now you're like you're mentally stable like you know this is the textbook way that works for every other kid eventually we found a foster home that was willing to take both of us together i switched to south fort myers high school where i actually got to stay for the three years and graduate which is really rare for me because i think i went to like 17 public schools growing up and i built a huge friend base it was the first time in my life that i ever had so much stability for the first time, it didn't feel like I was intruding on someone else's family values or their family norms. It was like, I got in there like, you have chores, like you have all these same things that my kids do. You're gonna be able to hang out with your friends. You're gonna get an allowance. We're gonna take care of you the exact same way we take care of our other kids. I I am lucky I have so many external resources like my foster parents that are still helping me. I was really lucky I had a guardian ad litem who's appointed by the state and she fought for me my whole four years in foster care. Without them, I would not be anywhere near where I wouldn't have been able to finish college. And so I think that someone should look at like really what an 18 year old does, what an 18 year old needs to succeed instead of just saying, okay, we're giving them a thousand dollars and we're giving them free tuition. That should be good enough. They should be able to figure everything else out.